All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be looking at some common oil leaks on the Honda J Series V6. Put a link or put a list of all the vehicles that this covers down below. But it's going to be on your Pilots, your Odysseys, your Ridge Lines, uh, your Honda Accord V6s, CLs, TLs, MDXs. But let me show you this right here. So right down here, got a whole lot of oil. Not a whole lot of oil, but it is leaking, right? So coming even further, you can see that's the transmission right there. But there's oil coming down. I've cleaned it multiple times trying to figure out where it's coming from. There's an oil pan, and I found it. But uh, let me show you some common leaks on this vehicle that you guys can simply take care of with some new O-rings. And then I'll uh, go into the one that's leaking up there and show you how to take care of it. Not a whole lot of money in parts, just O-rings, but uh, it does take labor. Okay, working on the passenger side, going below behind the tire. Let me show you one leak point. That is pretty common. And I'll put links to the description for this one. But right there, if you guys can see that, that is the, uh, well, we have the oil pressure sensor, you have a VTEC solenoid gasket, you have your oil filter down there, but uh, that leaks after a while. So this vehicle has 206,000 miles on it. Uh, Maybe it's starting to leak, but you'll see oil pooling up underneath it if it's leaking really bad. Sorry for the shoddy lighting. Just trying to get some light here. I'll put uh, links to the description below of a video where I did how to repair that leak. Pretty easy. You should do it when you do the oil change, but it doesn't take much to do it. Yeah, not, not hard at all to do. Let's go up to the top. <coughs> Already unscrewed it, just pulling, pulling it up and out. Next common thing to see is oil leaking out of your valve covers. You have valve cover gaskets on both the front and the rear sides, and then you have uh, oil tube seals down here below uh, where the uh, coil packs go into. You have, oil, you have a tube where the spark plug sits on the very top, on the top of the valve cover, is an oil tube seal. Let me see if I can show you that. So here's the valve cover. Off another J Series engine, you have a valve cover gasket right here, you have oil tube seals right here. These leak after a while. If you see leakage, if you see oil leaking from your valve cover gasket, most likely you have oil leaking into your uh, oil tube from your oil tube seals, which are right here. You have three of them, two, three on each side, I should say, six total. Uh, these can get rock hard. You have, sometimes I've had to burn these off in the past with a Oxy, not as oxy ceiling, with a propane torch and uh, get them out that way. When you reinstall them, uh, it's best if you can use Honda parts, Honda valve cover gasket, Honda oil tube seals. But if you can't, stay away from Felpro. Uh, my next best, best recommendation after Honda would be uh, Victor Rhines. And I'll put some links in the description below for that set. I used Felpro for a while, but kept getting leaks after, you know, 10, 20,000 miles. So we're trying to stay away from them. Another common leak, and what is leaking on this vehicle, right next to your EGR, right here, um, there's a, a camshaft thrust cover. And it sits on the, it actually sits on the head. It sits below, behind here, but that leaks, and it's leaking oil. And there's one on the front head, there's one on the back head as well. Let me take it off for you, and I'll show you uh, exactly what I mean. And you have two bolts down here that hold the EGR on, two 12 millimeters, one there, one there. And I'll take this off and show you what uh, what we can do to replace it. You have a connector right here for the EGR. You have a connector. You have a push button right here. As you push down, pull out. Got that one off. I'm going to disconnect this one off. And this one here. Just to make it a little bit easier. Give me some more room. Get the wiring harness out of the way. Two 12 millimeter bolts hold this thing in. See all this oil right here? <laughs> Looks like that's been leaking for a while. So uh, that's your cam thrust, uh, <clears throat> camshaft thrust plate. Looks like, looks like it's been leaking for a while. So let's see, is that 12 millimeter? Yep. 
all you really need to work on Hondas is a uh, 10, 8, 10, 12, 14, 17, 19. 19 every once in a while. Okay, that one's loose. Let me go get a 12 millimeter wrench for this one. Okay, got my 12 millimeter wrench. Break this bolt loose. I really don't want to stick anything metal between the two because this is aluminum. And it will, uh, will mar the surface. So I'm just trying to get a Close thing I had a file to see if I can actually get it to turn or rotate. <clears throat> Nothing. Get behind it right here. Pull it free and clear. Got a long pry tool right here. Get a rag down there. It's leaking oil. Got some residual. Okay, let me see the clip where I dropped it, the cap. Okay, there it is. There's the O-ring. Hard as a rock. So let me clean this up as well as I can, get all that off. It only installs one way, but I want to clean all this off. The O-ring is hard as a rock. Man, that sucker was tough. You can see right there. Marred the surface a little bit on the tab, but I didn't damage the actual mating surface, which is right where the O-ring's at. So I'm not worried about this, where the bolt goes. Not real worried about that, but let me clean this up. To clean it up, I'm just gonna use a uh, brake clean. And I'll show you the uh, new O-ring too, picked up from Honda. Got it all cleaned up. Break clean and some rags. Got my little pick here. Pick this up from O'Reilly's. Gonna get under the O-ring. Just try to lift it up and out. Man, that thing's ridiculous. We should make this a maintenance item. <laughs> a hundred thousand miles. as I stab myself in the hand. Just trying to work under it, get under it. Whew. Yeah, that's not good at all. Should be way more pliable than this. Shouldn't break like that either. Okay, so I got the new Honda O-ring. Pick these up from my local Honda dealership. Part number is 91301-P8A-A00. The seal is the same for the front and the rear heads. They don't change at all. I got three of them just in case I need another one. Oh yeah, that's nice and pliable. Nice. Get the cap. Let's get it over here. Roll it down. Make sure it's all seated correctly. Okay, cool. It's in place. Next thing I want to do is get some engine oil, coat the O-ring with it, and then reinstall it. After you do this, if it smokes a little bit, don't worry because you're getting brake cleaner into your EGR system, so don't worry all that much about it. It will burn off. Okay. 
some engine oil on it. Just coating the O-ring. Got a little bit more than I wanted to, so I'll just clean up down here a little bit. Like I said, it only goes on one way. So if you get it on and the bolts don't line up, just rotate 180. You'll be good to go. I think torque spec for this is 8 pounds. A little love house with my Yep, it's seated correctly. Just had to give a little love taps with my my tool I used to pry it off with. This is actually a um, coolant hose pick. Okay, just clean it up as well as I can. Um, put the EGR cooler back on. Don't worry if this if the vehicle smokes after doing this. You just put a brake fluid, a brake cleaner. In the EGR system, it will burn off, so don't worry about that. And uh, if you guys can, subscribe, and I will see you guys later.